Well, Capitol Police will be expanding their jurisdiction within Jackson on Monday, July 1st. Now, this Capitol Complex Improvement District expansion will mean a larger police presence in and around the Jackson Metro. 12 News' Richard Lake has more on what else residents should expect. Next week, Capitol Police will have a larger swath of Jackson to patrol. These new CCID boundaries move the district up north to Northside Drive, east to the Bank of the Pearl River, west to Ellis Avenue, and south down to Interstate 20. It includes three Jackson public schools and the Kroger off of Interstate 55. It'll be uh, really almost twice as big as, as it is now. More rooftops to cover, more businesses to cover, and and hopefully, again, you know, help assist the, the capital city and its public safety efforts as, as we grow Capitol Police and work hand in hand with our partners at JPD and the Hines County Sheriff's Office. That collaboration between law enforcement was a concern for many skeptics of this approach. Capitol Police will have primary jurisdiction throughout these expanded boundaries and they're currently sharing a call center with the Jackson Police Department. This transition is going very well and very smoothly. Really the politics are best left out of public safety. Uh, but it's always good politics to have good public safety. And working with JPD has been a force multiplier. Uh, when we first started this expansion uh, of Capitol Police's role, uh, we had about 63 law enforcement officers, and we're now up to 153 law enforcement officers. With this most recent expansion and the funding that's granted for this fiscal year, uh, we'll be able to get up to 187. With more Capitol Police out and about, Commissioner Tyndall is hoping residents feel at ease. I hope from the citizens' perspective, uh, what they see is a greater presence of law enforcement. What they feel is safer neighborhoods and safer businesses. Reporting in Jackson, Richard Lake, 12 News.